Hello everyone, this is Maria. Um, before I make a video about uh, achieving the communication for mode bus uh, sleep based on the TTL U84, and today uh, I will make another video for the master and the same display. Okay, so this is the same display, uh, same inch. This is the model number and uh, still the well collection. I Okay, so this is the voltage, five voltage, and this is the RX4, and this is TX4, and this is GND, and for this four horse, here you can say I use an adapter, okay? So here, uh, five voltage to voltage, and RX to RX to uh, TX4, and uh, TX to RX, uh, four, and GND to GND. This is the well collection. So later I will make a simple, uh, projector files, and uh, also do the testing. Show to you, okay? Okay, I already created a, a, a projector files. Let's say it. This is the uh, D1 set folders, the files in the D1 set folders. So first, this is the picture. I prepared two pictures. One is zero, the another one is 21. And I also put font ID, uh, 13, 14, and 22. And also put CFG. The special ones is this one because I use a U84 and I, I need a boot rate on um, one one five two zero zero. So I use this one. So for this one, uh, actually you can find it in the website. Okay. So I done it. So here you can see, for mode bus master, there are four options you can select. So I use this one. Unzip this one and uh, got this file. Copy this file into my, uh, into my folder into this one. Okay. Thirty two is the background pictures I created. I generated. So let's say the project. So only two functions. This is the variable data input. Here, the data variables display VP address is 1000. Okay. Another one is 1100. Okay. So, you, and besides that, uh, the most important for Modbus uh, master, you need to config the 22 files. It has the special address. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Uh, you should write it from 1C000. So this is the command uh, you need to know. Here, uh, here is the uh, example uh, of edit configuration format for directives in document 22. Okay, you, you need to collect the master and slave together. So uh, here, first is 5A, means execute this instruction. And then this is the slave ID, and then this is the command you need to use. For Austria, it means that you you want to read the data. For 10, it means that you want to write data. And then this is the length of operation data of this instruction is per word. After that is receive timeout. For receive timeout, you better set the time uh, more than 100 ms, okay more than 100 ms because I have tested. If less than 
one hundred ms. Maybe the system can't uh, run it correctly. Okay, and then this is the way to trigger the instructions to execute and send for mode. After that, uh, you can collect to the above. After that, this one is the VP address, display project VP address, and this one is the slave address. Okay, so based on this, I config 22 files. Let's see it. So here, 5A, execute this instruction, and the slave ID I set 01. And command I set all three and the data length I set one word because I just need two bytes for this uh, command. After that uh, is the receive timeout. I set 80. 80 means This is the 128 ms, okay. After that, a trigger, trigger way, uh, I set uh, OO, means that execute unconditionally. After that, when D5 is equal to zero, no configuration is required. So, six and seven are still wrote, are still wrote OO, okay. And uh, eight and nine here. This is the display uh, VP address. So here, this one is one thousand, and this one is uh, eleven hundred. So here, I write one thousand, and this is eleven hundred. For slave ID, I I write this one. You can define it by your side, okay, for your machine. And after that is all, all, all. And the third command, you can, the different is that the location three, I write two word, two word means uh, four bytes. And the VP address, you can say this is all, all 084 because this is the fixed address for uh, change switch the page okay so it's quite a special others theme so uh, please use your sd card to download the files to the the whole d1 set files to the display okay And this is the this is the projector files. Uh, I already uh, download to the display. So I will use another tool. Okay, I already download the display to the the, the files to the display, and uh, here I already test it before because I tested three times. But one time I forgot to record a video and one time I forgot to record the voice and this is the third time. I will restart. Okay, this is the display, same projector files as this one. And here, this is the mode bus slave tool because this play is as the master. Okay, so collect. I already collect. Collect parameters. Pull your wish. Okay, this is at you. And set up slave definition. So slave ID I set in the 22 files. Is one so here is one in function. I select, I select all three and address because 
one o one three one o is seven eight four. And I quantity I select twenty. So here, because oh seven eight four corresponding to this VP address, uh one thousand. So if I change this part, this part shall be, uh changeable, uh, accordingly. So here. Now you can see the, the change, and this part. Seven, seven now is corresponding to this part to this VP address, and now you can see, okay. And besides that, I also want to change the page, so the VP address uh, is slave address is three two zero, so eight hundred here. But for the page switching, it has the fixed command. It shall be based on the hex. So here I select hex. Also select hex. So five, five eight oh one. It's changed because here this is twenty one, twenty one. Fifteen. So here I wrote fifteen. Okay. Let's back to the fourth page. Fourth page. And data still change. Okay. So now you have a better understanding on this part. Modbus is not so complex as your imagination, and uh, um, how to say if you seek. For a cheaper display to replace the expensive standard HMI, Steven uh, display is a good option. Okay, so you can contact me for the sample plan. Okay, so bye bye.